Hey YouTubers, just wanted to introduce you to MagnaGas. Um, here's a short clip on Dr. Centilli, the inventor of MagnaGas, and he's about to show you the attractive force of MagnaGas while he's holding an iron rod. Check it out. Pretty impressive. Here's the setup, and this is how it's made. Their market is converting sewage into a natural gas alternative fuel. Um, but it's been stated that you can use clean water uh, and get the same result. You would just have less carbon. Uh, in the system. So you would force water into this bath area um, where there is a large carbon electrode on top, a large carbon electrode on bottom, and uh, there's a huge arc formed. Um, I didn't read anything about amps, but I did hear um, upwards to around 100,000 volts. Uh, another place said several dozen kilovolts, so take that for what you will, somewhere in that range. Anyway, the water is forced through this arc here, and once the reaction happens, whatever is created in there is instantly cooled due to the force um, in the bath that's surrounding this arc. Um, so those shapes that are created are retained uh, they bubble to the surface and then they're put in storage and sold uh, where they need to be sold for competition with natural gas I think it's funny that this company is making a gas that's magnetic and they could really care less that it's magnetic <laughs> here's another setup um, same basic principle carbon rod on top carbon rod on bottom. The water level is about here so that the arc is submerged. This is your uh, inlet for the jet of water. It's forced through that arc and instantly cooled in the bath that surrounds that arc. Um, here's some an artist rendering of what they've hypothesized these atoms look like after going through the arc and their hypothetical arrangement so here you would have possibilities for H3 H4 and so on this article is a confirmation article that was uh, a link on their website uh, where independent researchers scrutinized the gas and uh, there's a lot of info on there I don't want to go through it all with you but um, there's a link to this article in the description so you can look at it and get the info out of there. Um, I looked up the patent. There's a lot of different patents and I wanted to show you that yes the arc is underwater and it's preferably DC. Um, what else are they going to show you? Oh, I guess that's it. So, yeah. I really just wanted to introduce this gas to you and the technology to you if you haven't uh, heard of it or seen it before so that uh, we can look into possibilities of making Stan's magnetic gas in the same way. So I'm not saying that Stan did it this exact way, but Stan did say that there's lots of methods um, and lots of atom arrangements uh, to make magnetic gas. I believe this is one of them. So. I think it would do us good to uh, figure this one out because it's definitely being produced. Uh, it looked like it was pulsed DC and up to 100,000 volts. So we can do that. We can mess with some frequencies and, and with an arc underwater. Um, let's do this. All right. Uh, that's it for now. And feel free to leave comments. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.